The chest pass is often used to advance the basketball up the floor or connect the ball around the perimeter. The chest pass may seem basic, but it takes a greater understanding of the correct form to obtain the necessary speed, distance, and accuracy with the basketball. When trying to create great speed, distance, and accuracy with the chest pass, we want to first think about using our feet, our legs, our hips, and our core in the pass. We're going to take this step forward to then initiate the chest pass to start with. The legs, the hips, the core are all part of this strength, and you can see we start with the basketball closer to our body. Now, in order to now get the proper accuracy and the backspin that we're looking for on the basketball, our hands are going to be at the side, thumbs behind. You can see we're going to snap the basketball forward and get these arms quickly to extension here. That's going to put a little bit more speed on the basketball. And then finally, at the end, you can see that we get all the way out here at the release of the basketball, the thumbs come forward, the fingers come forward. This is going to create that backspin. Good shooters love to have backspin on the basketball when they catch. Let's go again. The quicker we snap out, the more speed we get, the more that we use those thumbs and fingers, the more backspin we're going to get, therefore the more accuracy we're going to finish with. The chest pass, like all passes, requires more practice than we realize. Work to perfect the form so that you are a reliable and accurate passer.